hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hi and welcome i hope you'll be becoming part of my beautiful growing family by simply pressing the subscribe button down below if you are a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so much for returning i really do appreciate you coming back to watch another video um if you're watching the video obviously you are watching I would appreciate it if you just give this video a like you can leave a little comment and we can start off with little hearts in the comment section so that um my video is able to reach other people so that we can grow and become a bigger family <laughs> anyway guys so um as you guys can tell by the title of this video we are going to be talking all things feminine hygiene um if you if that's if that's the kind of videos that you like to watch please keep on watching this video let's not waste any more time let's get straight into this video <laughs> guys before i start off this video just a disclaimer i am not a doctor i am not a gynecologist guys i um i majored in hospitality management like in hotels and stuff <laughs> i do not major in being a doctor or a gynecologist what we are going to speak about is personally what i've learned about my own body and the things that work for me so if you're thinking of trying anything here um i would advise you to just consult your doctor or your gynecologist or do your own personal research and yeah do what works for you <laughs> anyway guys so i really really do like i really do like love watching feminine hygiene videos like i love them i love them from watching um ladies in south africa other countries america wherever like i love watching feminine hygiene um videos because i feel like we get to learn a lot about from each other yeah not about but from each other we get to learn a lot you know there's something always new to learn so yeah guys so i thought today i would share um my feminine hygiene tips and products that i really really love that i can't live without and what works for my yeast infection let's start with the yeast infection ha huh, guys there's nothing worse than a yeast infection like the cookie will be itchy the cookie will burn like it will be itchy and you will want to scratch when you scratch it's satisfying but it gets to a point where it's comfortable it's uncomfortable like it's uncomfortable you've been scratching too much and now it's just painful you will have discharge sometimes the discharge will change color and this is not a sexually transmitted disease it's not an sti or std or anything like that and i feel like we should not be embarrassed to talk about things like yeast infections you know it's not it's yeah it's 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 it's, it's not that bad <laughs> a yeast infection can be caused by a lot of things it could be that maybe you use the public toilet i know that happens to me when i use a public toilet oh it goes okay not always but sometimes when i use a public toilet it really goes down it goes down um it could be that you use a public toilet it could be that like even pregnancy you know your hormones are not balanced um it could be that maybe you took a bubble bath and you used um a, a bubble bath that is that is scented obviously and yeah that can also just give you a yeast infection you know like a lot of things can have a factor to our ph not balancing um eating a lot of sugar and healthy food there's just a lot of things that just can throw throw your ph balance or give you a yeast infection a yeast infection is not an sti it's not an std so you shouldn't be <clears throat> embarrassed to talk about it it's normal it happens to a lot of us guys yo but the symptoms you know the itchiness the itchiness is a lot guys i remember there was a time where i was working at the hotel I don't know what was the cause of it but I was so itchy and I had this discharge it was a lot and I was not understanding why and I was not even sexually active so I was pretty sure it's not nothing to do with an STD or an STI I went straight to the pharmacy <clears throat> and I explained what was going on she recommended that I eat yogurt and drink 
cranberry juice and there was a some pills that she recommended um they call what are they called i forgot what they're called but i'll put them here on the screen and she recommended that i take those and then she gave me she also gave me um those creams you know those creams that you put it up your vagina <laughs> she gave me those creams i used that and it didn't work and for me when something is not right with me down there i will go to the bathroom every now and then like i will literally go to the bathroom now and five minutes i will feel like i'm pressed so that's that's when i know no there's something wrong so <clears throat> um she gave me those and i felt like they did not work and one thing about me i had going to the clinic i'll go to the clinic if it's really serious but in jj i don't like going to the clinic i'm your oh i'm your home remedy kind of girl so i started um googling home remedies for um yeast infection and stuff like that and i came across one specific product and when i read the reviews the reviews were good i was like should i try this should i try this i know i didn't try that immediately i didn't no i didn't so what made me try it i think it was was it this year or last year there was a time where i was experiencing again a lot of discharge that i didn't understand and it was just annoying and it was making me very uncomfortable you know my self-esteem and you know i would just bath like every now and then i want to bath because it was making me very uncomfortable and i remember i spoke to the nurse about it when i went to check my blood pressure and <laughs> you know the things she told me my gosh the things she told me i was just like never 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 again and with her what she did is she didn't taste my urine and she, i know she gave me some antibiotic and she gave me an injection guys and i felt like how is she treating something that she doesn't know what she's treating you know okay i did that and i took the antibiotics that she gave me the problem didn't fully go away guys it did not fully go away so i then started doing my research again i looked and i checked and you know and i came across the same product the one that i was speaking about i came across the same product um and i was like i should try this okay i ordered it from take a lot i ordered it it arrived and yeah let me just show you the product so the first product i'm going to share with you guys from this video if there's anything that you can take it is this product this is the plug she she is the plug like she's literally the plug i love this product i love this product and i feel like it's something that i will always want to have with me so here it is it's called the cookie balance when i say cookie balance it literally literally balances the cookie so this is by the company called uh leila Fem uh, feminine uh, it's called the cookie balance so it says it's relief from unbalanced vaginal yeast and odor causing bacteria soothing and calming without disrupting the vaginal ph like guys this this saved my life this saved my life so um let me just educate you a little bit about the product so the product comes with this leaflet that you can just read um so it just talks about what is the cookie balance cookie balance is a is made of boric acid which is slightly acidic mineral that has been used in natural remedies for hundreds of years it is used as a mild uh, antispectic and anti anti antiseptic <laughs> as it kills certain types of fungi as well as types of bacteria okay i'm gonna read all of it uh, and then how does cookie balance help to support good vaginal health the bacteria that naturally live in a healthy vagina and vulva such as oh guys lacto when there's when there's to do help us out i don't know what that word is i'll put it on the screen um flourish in the acidic conditions the cells and tissues of this region also are designed to remain healthy in acidic environments when our vaginas become too alkaline even slightly the wrong types of bacteria can take over okay i'm going to read all of it um yeah basically that is what cookie balance is uh what i understood is that it's made of um boric acid i did research 
about boric acid i watched uh, videos on youtube and a lot of people did speak about it helping them with their yeast infection the reviews on those product guys just go to take a lot and read the reviews on those products a lot of people did speak so good about it and i thought let me try it. so when you do receive it you receive um this the pearl like this so it would be let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's going to okay so what you guys what you do is guys you take the applicator and then you take the capsule and then you put the capsule in there like that and then you can like what i usually do i put my one foot up the toilet seat and then sort of like a squatting position and then so it would be like this and then you just shoot it up your cookie um it is recommended that you use it for about seven days i used it for like on the fifth day or the fourth or the fifth day i started to see a bit, like it was actually gone the discharge that i was talking about was gone all the itchiness and all of that was it was gone guys it works like magic like I swear by this product it works like magic the only downfall is they only give you one um two applicators and it's recommended that you use this once so it doesn't make sense to have 20 capsules but you only have one of these so you can also use i've tried it you can also just use your finger to insert the um, capsule which works perfectly i love this products with all my heart guys you can also just um you can also just use it after like your periods you can use it let's just see it says insert nightly for seven days to cure your yeast infection bacterial vaginosis and other conditions these capsules also can be used for shorter amounts of time to prevent when you use it you do wear a um panty liner um the instruction is recommend recommend that you use it in the evening like when you take your evening bath put your panty liner on and then you just insert the capsule like guys this works like magic this works like magic i love it i love it so much they are on instagram you can check them out on instagram but like i said go on take a lot i bought it on take a lot and the time that i bought it it was on sale i'll put the price that i bought it for and the price that it is now on the screen just go read the um, reviews on take a lot um if you do suffer from yeast infections or anything like that try this out try this out good for if you've got a bad discharge that's got a uh, bad odor like just try it out guys try it out and let me know how it goes that is my number one plug guys and then also if maybe you don't have the um, the budget for that you can also try citrus soda guys citrus soda citrus soda i always have this in the house i do use it sometimes after my period um this also helps especially if you have for me when i had um i once had this also when i was working at one of the hotels i was obviously using a public toilet and then all of a sudden i would go to the toilets every now and then like every now and then i go to the toilet so my colleague recommended that i use citrus soda since from then i've never looked back i love love citrus soda and i love the fact that they now have this um cranberry flavor which is really nice it does taste nice yeah i was plugged by ella Ulma on this uh flavor and i i love it and then guys i like for my vaginal health i also do take um i also do take supplements and the supplements that i take are these these are the supplements because i remember when i was reading about this um somebody wrote that uh, they took these supplements alongside this and it worked like magic together so when i ordered um the cookie balance i decided to order these supplements so these are probiotics um yeah they're good for your for your gut and yeah these are the ones that i take and when i ordered this guys when i ordered this they gave me two of these these um bottles and i'm like did they make a mistake did they give give this to me by mistake the second one and when i read the reviews of this product 
they actually like to give away free um stuff i was reading the other day i did see they also have now um the um, boric acid thing there is like a is it a special like a combo where you buy this and the boric acid and they also give you a ph balance tester um for i think it was 549 i'll put the price here if you're keen on trying that i was thinking of trying the boric acid from this um this brand but also i love <laughs> i love her i love her so much um yeah so these are the probiotics that i take i take these every single day um in the morning um usually on an empty stomach i take them and yeah so there's 30 capsules in here um i'm not sure how much did i buy them for i'll put on the screen here i'm not i don't remember how much i put them for but i'll put it here on the screen so that you guys can see but i think again it was on sale and we are out i need to order i think i've got exactly six of them for the rest of this week i need to order them and then also guys this is each to their own when you bath your cookie it's each to your own but what i can say you should avoid using scented soaps um anything scented basically i think it should be avoided on our cookie um you don't need to use anything you don't need to use soap you don't need to use the kind of gods and all of that you can literally just wash your cookie with water and it's okay you can you'll be clean but you know these days guys as human beings we use all of these things and those things can have actually an effect on our um, our cookie personally me guys i can't i can't um wash my cookie without using anything like a cleanser for my cookie like i need to use a cleanser so this is the one that i am using it's uh by Se sebi Med. i just showed this to you guys in one of my um, feminine hygiene hauls this is the one that i've been using i've had it for quite a while now but it's almost finished um yeah it says it's for women aged 15 to 50 supports the vulva's microflora balance sensitive so this is what i use guys and for me it's okay it's been working fine for me i can't smell it obviously because i don't have smelling senses but when i look at it it's just it's a clear gel it tells me that it's not scented it says it's not scented and there's i believe there's no smell i can't smell but i believe there's no smell it looks like it doesn't have a smell i use this and i use this every day i'm gonna lie and say i don't use it every day i use it every day um when i bath i just don't feel clean <laughs> without using something so yeah i use this so when you do choose it's up to you guys it's up to you whether you use water it's up to you whether you use um an intimate wash i prefer to use an intimate wash personally yeah so that's the last part so these products they are my face guys they they like they are my favorite products they are my favorite products i love them love them um yeah so i just wanted to plug you firstly like this video is mostly to plug you on this if you're suffering from any yeast infections please do try this and it might just work for you yeah guys i hope that this video was informative to you and you learned something in this video if there's anything that you'd like to share personally you can just leave your comments in the comment section down below otherwise i am done um i'll see you guys in my next video and the next video won't be my feminine hygiene routine but i've got a video that i prepared for you guys that shows my feminine hygiene routine